This video is for the underdog, the worker, the one who doesn't take all the glory, but carries out their job regardless. You see, as a pro, I carried water bottles for my teammates, making sure they were properly hydrated, and I was proud of it. I was a water boy. Us normal riders head out with either one bottle or even two in our bottle cages. But in a race scenario, well, one rider is given the job of heading back to resupply their teammates with a fresh set of bidons or bottles. But today will be a little bit different. You see, I was watching Giro on GCN Plus yesterday and it got me thinking about a little challenge. How many bottles could I really have carried? How many teammates could I really have watered? Now, the most water bottles you'd ever have to carry in a race is as a grand tour when you have seven other teammates. So that means a potential of 14 bottles to replenish your team's supply in the race, bringing it from the race convoy all the way up to the peloton. Now, 14 bottles is a bit of an exaggeration, to be honest, because you'd only really aim to carry about seven, one per rider. And actually, the job of carrying bottles back to the peloton is shared around the team. You take it in turns to drop back to the convoy. Sometimes you just do it if you stop for a natural break. So the challenge is as follows. Hank and I will each have an attempt to collect as many biddens while riding up this steady one mile climb. For each bottle, we get to the top of the climb. That is five seconds taken off our time. Whoever has the quickest time wins. However, for any bottles that we drop, that is a 10 second penalty added on to our time. First up, my attempt. Connor. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Three, two, one, let's go. Go. Oh. You got to tell me when you need a bottle. Okay, I'm ready. One. Another one. Keep it coming. That's it. Right. One more. I'm oh, a bit rusty at this. So the key is you need to take a bottle. Use that force just to get a little bit of a rest and a breathing space to then relax and get a bottle down your jersey. The thing is you need to be quick at getting it down your jersey, otherwise you get flapping at the team car like I am. A bit out of practice at this. So, I'd always like to do this on a climb when I knew I'd finished taking on bottles at the top to get an easy Right up the climb by holding on to the team car. Then at the top, I'd be able to descend down into the peloton. Look at him go, look at him go, wet, wet with sweat. Come on! I pick the pace up. Oh no. <laughs> Come back for that later. Come on! How am I doing, DS? You're doing all right, mate. We've still got a lot of riders to feed. You need to keep it up, yeah? I'm coming. You're doing really well. All right. Okay, I think the commissaire is looking at us now. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, he's dropped another one. Oh, Come on. Up, 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 up. Them, them models. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You got this. They're thirsty up you there. You got this. Come more. on. You got ah. this. You got, you got this. Big sling. Big sling. Up go. and forward. Let's go. You got this. Let's get another bottle of board. Ale, ale, ale. Thank you. Come oh, on. Ale. Oh, Come on. You got this. Come on. Up, 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 up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You got this. You got this. Come on. Come on. Oh. Oi. Come on. Connor, we got four riders to feed. Get back here. Get another bottle. Come on! Up, 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 up. Oh, I see the peloton! I see the peloton! My teammates better appreciate this. They'll probably ask for a coda or something after. Boss, I'm in! I'm in the peloton! Who wants the bottle? Anyone want a bottle? Whoa. Oh, tell you what, if I'd have done that in a race, I'd have been a DNF. It's time to see my time and the all-important tally of how many bottles I managed to carry. 
So, I got up the climb in seven minutes and 43 seconds. I managed to carry two bottles in my cages, all important. Never forget the bottle cages, because that's a bit silly, isn't it? So two there, then I've got one, two, so that's four in total now. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think this is a 10th, 10th, and 11, 11 bottles. So I think we're talking about a five second bonus for every bottle I managed to carry. So it's 11 times five, 55 seconds off my time. That is quick maths. I'm gonna calculate at six minutes and 48 seconds. Six minutes, 48 seconds is my total time, but I did drop two bottles. So that's a 10 second penalty on both of those bottles. So another bit of quick maths, 20 second penalty. That is seven minutes and eight seconds. That's my time, that's what happened to be. Got ya! Got ya! <laughs> okay, so it's my turn to DS for Hank. Let's see how he compares to my bottle carrying abilities. How you feeling? Man, I feel a bit nervous. It's like just just like any like any race. It's always a bit nerve-wracking. Feeling good. Feeling good though. This is my first experience as being a team manager, actually, so I'm quite uh, excited. Just hazards on, and you should, yeah. you should be ready to go. I'm feeling quite authoritarian. Are you? Yeah. Oh, great. So, come on. Just what I need. Right, I've got what time do I have to beat? Seven minutes, eight seconds, including penalties and bonuses. So, you right, got hopefully we've got a clear run. Are you ready? You got your work cut out. Ready, I'm, DS? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Right, I'll let's get this going. Okay. okay. We're off! Bottle! Alright, you need... Where's my sleigh? Let's do it! Hurry up! Where's my, where's my sleigh? <laughs> where's your... Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> so, I've never done this before. <laughs> I've used the ride. There right we go! There we go. <laughs> it's just like being in a race. I haven't got the best biceps. Full of mate. aggression. Oh. <laughs> oh, I would have made a terrible DS. Come on, mate! Up, 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 up! You got another up, up, up. Come on! Push, 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 push! I'll tell you what, I'm very grateful for all the previous team managers that I used to have because they had strong biceps. Here you go, mate! One, one here! There you go. And I have not got strong arms at all. I mean, it's really hard to pass it up to Hank. There you go. Oh, there's a thirsty giant up there, he needs some water. All right, boy. Come on, then. Come on. Uh, where am I going to put this? Down the front, it is. Push, 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 push. Push, 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 push. Up, 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 up. Come on, there. Come on, the broom wagon's coming. Oh. What's this on? <laughs> it's like a bloody bogo stick. Bottle, beat up, beat up, beat up. Come on. I'm about to burst! Come on, you need back in! Oh, s**t! <laughs> You've lost two! I've lost two! Come on! Come on! Come on! Got a bit of strength in! Success! Keep spinning the legs! Keep spinning the legs, that's it! <laughs> Get him back up! One more to go, come on! All the way to the line! That's me out. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You got you got to try hard now in these GCN challenges when our presenters are getting stronger and fitter. But the big question is how many bottles did I manage? And as you can see, they're all about to start popping out. One, two, three, four, wires. Where are they? Five, six, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten bottles. What was my time? The time was. One on your bike as well, mate. Oh, got one on my bike. Eleven. Eleven on my bike. And my time was six minutes and 40 seconds. And then add up my bottles. So adding five per bottle, which is. What is it, Connor? <laughs> <laughs> so there we have it. I've managed to carry up safely 11 bottles. And I did a time, a ride time of six minutes and 40 seconds for the entire climb. Every bottle, I take away a five seconds. And then I do add two 10 minute, two, two 10 second penalties because I dropped two bottles, which gives me a time of six minutes and five seconds. You walloped me. You absolutely walloped <laughs> me. You so you beat me by just over a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh. I needed to up my game. I know this is your bag. You're the bottle boy. You've ridden the Giro d'Italia. You've ridden the Vuelta de España. I haven't ridden the World Tour race, but I have had some practice at uh, feeding my fellow teammates. And so I quite, I relished this challenge. I enjoyed it. Did you uh, think you could carry 11 bottles in, in your jersey though? I wasn't really sure, to be honest, and I, I'm, I'm bitter you've beaten me. I mean, fair play, you did an amazing effort. Um, I didn't think I'd carry 11. I mean, normally in a race, you'd only carry about four to seven bottles. You really would be one per teammate. And even then, some, some riders wouldn't want a bottle, so you'd go back and you'd, you'd not need to take it for everyone. Um, and you share the duty around as well. So you'd go back if you stopped for a natural break, you'd come back and you'd take maybe two or three bottles at a time, and that would be shared around. So there's a constant supply the bottles coming back to the peloton in your team, um, which would negate having to carry 11 bottles so at once. Many. And the other thing I want to mention as well is how important the sling is off the, uh, off the direct sportive, because what you were saying I think was really important where you can be really clever with the way you take on your bottles, getting a sling on the climb, that way you can uh, get some yeah. some respite. You need to be quick about getting that bottle into the jersey and then getting the next one. So you're always getting the sling the whole way up. But you also need a very good director sportive or manager in the car driving with a strong arm, which unfortunately you didn't really have today because my arm was a was little like a, bit weak. A wet fish. Mate. Yeah, that was actually the first time I'd ever attempted that. And I was really surprised. And I feel very grateful actually to my previous managers that they had strong biceps. <laughs> so they got me out of a lot of trouble at times. Plus, I think I need to draw attention to the fact that Hank started this challenge with only one bottle cage. So he could only take one bottle in his bike, which is where you're supposed to carry your bottles in the first place. I know, so I could have had 12 bottles to my name. Anyway, what did you think of this challenge? Did you enjoy it? Let us know in the comment section below. And how many bottles have you ever carried? Right then, that was the carry water bottle challenge. Now, time for a cup of tea though, Hank. Cup of tea? Yes, please, mate. Yeah. Two sugars, please, buddy. Yeah. Oh, why are you using the tap? Yeah, I just thought that. We've got, We've got enough water to last us about a couple of days. That's a good point, mate. Better, uh, better make use of it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. <sighs> oh. <laughs>